Hello and welcome to video number 6. In this video we are going to discuss how we can load data to the Excel data model. Actually there are many ways that we can use to load information and data and tables into the Excel data model. However for this video we are going to discuss only three of them. So the first one is just if you have an Excel table, um, some information in Excel table format in the same workbook, you can just load it directly to the data model. Second one is very simple and easy. You just copy and paste into the data model. And the third one is just about creating, not like loading. It's like a creating a calendar table automatically from the feature embedded in the Power Pivot uh, editor. So let's go directly to the to our Excel sheet. So in this Excel sheet, I have some information about an organization called Food Mart. This Food Mart has some stores. It's like 24 stores distributed in some regions. And the, the first table we have here containing the basic information for those stores. Um, as we can see here, we have the store ID, uh, store type, store name, phone numbers, the opening date, and, and some other information. And the other table we have here, it's containing the basic information for those regions it has region id and sales district and sales region so our task here is just to load these two tables inside the excel data model using two different ways so we'll start with the stores information so to start the first step doing that is we need to convert this information into uh, excel table format so we can do it directly from the insert tab we select table it will give you this window just check the range it selected the correct range and ask you if your table has headers or not so it has so we just click ok but don't forget that we need to give some meaning meaningful uh, name to this table so we can use it easily when we transfer it or load it to the data model so in this case i will give it a name like store underscore info and don't forget that you cannot put spaces please click enter after that and then uh, just to load this directly to your data model you need to go to the power pivot tab and just click on the add to data model icon once you do that it will open the editor the power query at uh, the power pivot editor and you can see your information loaded here your 24 records for the stores and he uses the first row as headers as you ask him to do and give the table the name store underscore info everything is perfect so let's go back and let's try to work on the other table let's try work on the region so this a small this is a small piece of information it can easily copied and paste into the data model directly so i select the entire range and then i just press ctrl c to copy i go back to the power pivot editor and from the top left i just click on paste once you did, to do once you you did that you will see this window uh, um, it, it prompts you to this window in this window uh, it's, it's similar to what we did last time just ask you if your first row as a column you need to to use your first row as a column header or not in this case yes because if i if i uncheck this one he will put like column one column two column three if i check it will give the right um, uh, column headers and then i need to give again a name meaningful name instead of table which is the default here i can just put something like uh, region underscore info and then i click ok and then you can see uh, the table it just created with the the piece of info that you just uh, copied so the basic difference between these two methods is in this one in in the region case there is no linkage between the information that you copied from the original excel sheet and the table that created here however in the store info table because we just loaded the table we have a table created in the excel sheet itself we have the table here so it's linked so if let's say if i try to to delete something from here or i prefer just to add not to delete because we are going to use this info in the future so just click on tap i give store 25 store id 25 I just give uh, any 
type let's say mid sized <coughs> I give region 22 store 25 for instant and then uh, 2222 arms street that's enough just to test if you go back to this window in the last record still 24 but if you click on refresh here you will see that the information is refreshed once you close you can see that your new, re new record just added here if you add column if you change any information from the excel sheet it will it will be reflected once you refresh in in the new table and this is the basic difference between the two methods now we are going to see how we can do uh, or we can add uh, a calendar uh, table so from the design tab in the same uh, power pivot editor window it's a separate window you know from the normal excel window so in this window you click on design tab and you can see here date table you just click on the arrow down and on the arrow and you select new uh, it's doing some stuff here I can see uh, now a calendar table created contains a list of all uh, uh, dates a lot of dates actually I will, I will tell you how and then you can see that he gives you a lot of supplementary information that you are going to use in order to start to report on the years so it gives you the year and give you the month number and gives you also the 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 month name uh, and also some other uh, date formatting and the uh, number of uh, uh, day of the week and the uh, uh, name of the day of the week and also you can add things like quarter number and things like this so when you start to report on this information by year by quarter by month it's very easy because it's created automatically into columns and this will facilitate uh, the reporting process uh, and, 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 and if you can see here the range started very early actually it's from January uh, uh, 1st of January uh, 1951 and that's why because if you go back to your basic information here if you go back to your Excel and look at store info if you check the dates here you can see dates in, in started in 1951 and and that's why he he just he just sense that you need because in, in this model it will be linked together somehow so the the Excel detected that you need uh, dates back from 1951 that's why he started with 1951 but actually you can customize this so if you click again on on the table you can update the range from here you can just click on this and you can start your uh, starting date and you start your ending date it opens something like a calendar here also you can just uh, put the the mouse the, the cursor inside and use the down and up arrows to change like this so it gives you a lot of flexibility and also help helping you a lot to uh, to report using the um, report on years on month on quarters on weekdays on weekends or whatever so it's, it's very powerful and we are going to use it many many times when we are going to talk about the time intelligence function inside uh, that are used used in in, in the DAX uh, and the DAX formulas uh, used in the Excel data model so now we finish the three ways and and just to let you know next time we are going to uh, uh, we are going to look at how we can use the power query and it's, it's really very powerful and very strong and we're going to discuss how we can use the power query to load data from many many other sources into the Excel uh, that a model hope that was useful thank you very much for your time and see you in the next video bye